Hello, this is Sophie Lawson from sophielawson.com and this is another clip clip video where we clearly look at various art books and magazines and today we're looking at this one which is issue 115 for December 2014 by the Imagine FX magazine and it is a video game special apparently there's going to be retro game art in here which would be nice this here looks a little bit like Cube from the anime Magica 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 Look, little Cube Looks just like him, I thought Cool So, what I love about this one is the um, the, front, the sort of like, you get a feeling that these guys are all sort of They're a team They're all friends with each other They're all different creatures But they're all working together So I'm liking that Last week we looked at this one, which was brilliant but my favourite cover so far has been this one, which was issue 108. I've got to say, I still think it's my favourite. As much as I love this one, this one's still my favourite. So uh, there's only one issue left, so it looks like this one is probably going to be my favourite of the year. Unless, unless next week is an amazing cover. But let's get into this one. Like I said, these, these characters are cool. There's lots of energy and coolness about that, that cover. So there's our little friend Claire. Hello, look. Hello, scrubblers. Hey, scrubblers. Little subscribelies. Scrub, scrubbly lollies. Here we go. This is a bit like, um, that reminds me a little bit of, um, what's it called? Borderlands. That's it. Uh, I was I was hoping for more sort of eight bit gaming art. These are the videos of James Gurney. He gets around, doesn't he, James Gurney? This is the FX pose eight bit. Look at that. How cool is that? Mad. <laughs> it's quite funny, isn't it? I like that one there. Yeah, the FX Pose has really been amazing this year. It's probably been my favourite bit of the issue, I think. And this is another brilliant one as well, look. It's all made out of like computer, that. <laughs> cool. Get into games. Oh, I want more sort of um, No Man's Sky. Did that come out in 2015? Well, if that come out in 2015, how can it be in this book? That's a bit weird. Look, art from 2015 video game No Man's Sky. But this is a 2014. Unless they're talking about a, a game that's going to be released next year. Not sure. Survival of the Fattest. <laughs> yeah, No Man's Sky. Art in see old Beyond Infinity. Han Yoon Yu's Art Studio. Yeah, I could um, I could imagine working in that. Got everything you need there. Look, inspiration, knowledge, your tools, and comfort, and a little drink. <laughs> he likes little drinks. Traditional and digital as well. These are the letters. Get up to fourteen issues free. Take out a two year subscription. Get 14 issues free. That'd be cool, wouldn't it? Artists Q and A. That's like something out of Mass Effect. That is. Some of the characters people come up with is. You sort of think, how did they come up with that? Destiny. Again, look how cool the article is. 
sort of reflecting the game. I played that game for about 30 minutes and I thought it was cool but it was one of those games I felt like if you started playing this you could play it forever. But I like games that are like little. Peter Peter Moore Backer's sketchbook. Look at that. That is a bit weird, isn't it? See, I like that because it makes you sort of think. The, all of these characters are slightly um, deformed or something. Interesting. Yay, this is the sort of thing I like. Characters like that. I could imagine him in a video game. Carbine Studios. I probably played one of their games, but... These are little workshops. I want to see what this one is. Create game character art. Oh, I'm a bit disappointed because they they said about retro game art in here. Uh, I was open for like an article all about sort of retro video games or something. Inspe instead, we get spaceships. <laughs> Nothing against spaceships. 3D tools. See, this doesn't get me excited. This does. I like that. Liberate your work process. I like the um, the simple colours of that one. Concept Art Masterclass. The Golden Ratio. I like, I like it when you get an article with like little um, numbered tips, bite size, creature design. They're going to end the year brilliantly. My favourite thing is character and creature design. I wonder what the... Ah, oh, I already know what the cover looks like. Because we looked at it in the very first issue. Ooh, it's going to be hard to pick my favourite this year. I like this here, look. Rubik's Cube. Yeah, I like that as well. But it's a little um, robot Rubik's Cube sort of creature thing. I love these characters. Yeah, it does remind me of Borderlands, that one. Here's reviews. I've seen that before somewhere. I'm sure that's... Um, I feel like I've seen that before. I was going to say it's a video game, but Watercolour in the Wild. Hey, it's a James Akin. Publisher, Gurney Studio. He's got his own little studio. Cheeky. Bromford's Fairy Tales. The Art of Greg. The Gregster. Still got the sexy paper. Fantasy Illustrator. I got one of those. Okay, um, I got a load. I got some of them in the car boot sale. Like mammoth horns, well not mammoths, dragons. Look, sketch art space in Sydney. Illustrating a beast like elf. A beast. Look at him. Look, looking sexy, isn't he? <laughs> Posing away. Sketches as well. I like these. These little. They always do this at the at the end. You get a little sort of a bit about um. What's it called? Oh, what's that word? Oh, I've forgotten the word. Proko does it all. Figure drawing and can't remember now. But it's like um. Well, the first impression. Hey, Laura. I love that name. Some reason I love that name. I like the uh, the look of her name as well. 
got a nice sort of flow to it. Laura Lee Boom. Boing! That was another one. Not enough game stuff in that for me. And this is what happens sometimes. They say we're going to have a game art special. And there's not really much game art in it. <laughs> Gay art. But, well, what I will say is, next week, look at this. Creature design. That we might actually end on the best issue. Which would be nice. Because next week is going to be the last issue of this Imagine FX magazine. But I hope you enjoyed this one. Issue number 115 for December 2014. And I hope you come back to have a look at that as well. Little Penny's going to be with us. He'd be cool, I think. 